Welcome back to uh, the Blue Bike and Doors channel. Uh, I forgot to shoot the intro for this video, but this is the little golf cart tour. It's about an hour, a little, little over an hour, maybe a little less. It takes you around just kind of whet your appetite for uh, the little, the bigger tour. She got a two hour, two, two hour, two and a half hour tour, which is more historic sites around Chenoa. And uh, so enjoy. Why? Uh, I'm putting my knife down here so. You know, this ain't an episode of Dickin' Around. A good place was that. So, watch the video. We'll catch you like. Assembling it apparently the blades are missing off of it now, so I don't I was hoping they'd keep it because it was really beautiful yeah. um, But the series dropped dead diva on TV. It was about a three I think three seasons But they used this house in one of the episodes they transformed They transformed the master bedroom into a teenage girls room and they used her house for Captain Lynch fought in a lot of the battles including Gettysburg now the left side where that dog's on the front porch, that you can rent that on Airbnb, and this is called the um, Walking Dead Home Base Airbnb. So Captain Lynch had a daughter named Mary, and it was um, customary back in the 18, 1900s that fathers build homes for their daughters when they get married. So Captain Lynch's daughter was getting married, and so he wanted to build her a house for a wedding gift. And it's a little shack. You're going to feel kind of bad for her, embarrassed for her, but that is the house he built for his daughter, right? Really? <laughs> that was her wedding gift Jeez. when she was married at McKnight. And I'm going to pull up here in right in front. Now, this is an original horse hitching post right here by the street. This is where they used to tie their horses down. Now, this house for Southern Living was 1.3, and this is our first million dollar house listing. He has not sold it yet. Um, Peter Harvey. He came in when the house was literally about to fall into the ground and he did such upgrades as like it has a wine cellar in the kitchen floor. You raise a trap door, oh you go my. down a spiral staircase into the wine cellar. So it's really cool inside. So those are the type of upgrades I guess he uh, says it's worth a million dollars. But the house out there he built, the little um, outbuilding garage and it's pretty cool. Like a whole apartment upstairs. So it's empty now? Yeah. yeah. Wow. He remarried, lives in Noonan. We heard he may come back, but um, he didn't get any bites for a million. The sign, it's been up so long it fell over, but um, it's still for sale. And I think he lowered it to 950 or 975, so still pricey. But um, one of the things that we, we, were, um, we got information on when we ran around to the homeowners is paranormal. But uh, they had a big giant tree out in the front yard here with a basketball bowl on it. So, this one? Yeah, this one was used in Meet the Browns and Pet Cemetery too. Oh, wow. So a lot of oh, yeah. This is an old Presbyterian church, and it went from Presbyterian church to a wedding chapel, and now it's a um, family dwelling house. Oh, and the family of Chandler Riggs, you know who that is, right? Carl. They bought this home, and they bought it when he was Garth. on the Speed Channel. He used to live in this home right here on the right-hand side. His parents owned Katie Lee's Barbecue right here in town, but he recently moved to Peachtree City. Mm. I always hate when we lose famous people. <laughs> yeah. Home. Yeah, the dumpster out front, that's where the tree, the Sarah Christmas tree was. Oh, wow. Now the Sonoy Coffee and Cafe, if you go inside, there's a sign inside that says the Woodbury Coffee House. That's what they would hang up over the sign when they did the filming here in town. Now the funny thing was, they only built one of those signs. So if they ever got the other side of the building in, they'd have to physically go up and move that yep. sign over wow. to the other side of the building. Now those are the giraffes I was telling you about. They did get into an episode of The Walking Dead and they call those Easter eggs. Those are something they did use in. Huh. Oh. So that is the one <coughs> and only entrance into Alexandria. And you can see it's a guard shack and it is 24 seven guarded. So you can't even go down. Okay. Nice. You can turn down, but you might get to that truck right there and they will come out and turn you around. Now have you all seen fried, uh, fried green tomatoes? Movie fried green tomatoes. It's old, but it's an 
and it's where Lillian Holberg used to live. Now, the family that lives here now, they were this church, and his name appears on the stained glass window, and the pulpit furniture pews are original and handmade for the church. And a movie called Fighting Temptations with Cuba Gooding Jr. and Beyonce was filmed here. I think my people are here in a, the bus. I saw a bus. I saw a bus, yeah. And she just texted me, she said, we're on Main Street. Oh yeah, I bet that was the, uh, the geek geek out tour. Well, the uh, pet cemetery too. This is where the cemetery was. Really? Now I saw pet cemetery the first one. There was no way I was gonna watch the second one after seeing the first one. So. <laughs> but this is for pet cemetery too, right here. I just looking for a place to messing around. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that little video. We'll catch you next time. Ride safe and uh, enjoy uh, Groundhog Day, <laughs> which is if I'm timing this right. So be a week for the end of the January. So uh, hope your New Year's going great. We'll catch you next time.